That is a real one. That, dude, that's like a 17, 18 pounder. Come on. What is going on guys? Victor here, back from the dead. I have not posted a real fishing video, a real exciting fishing video in a long time. And I'm making this introduction with high hopes. Chris and I are headed to the inlet. Say what's up. We're gonna have a bluefish slay fest. You slayed him yesterday, didn't you, sir? It was good. Jacks and bluefish, ladyfish, every cast. Sounds good, sounds like my kind of uh, fishing. So we're headed to the inlet, we got poppers, loaded up in the tackle box. Hopefully we get tight, stay tuned. Oh, right there, yes! <laughs> Cannot believe I did not come down here earlier for this, guys. <laughs> oh no, it came off. Already. All right, guys, we just got to the beach. This is where the big bluefish were at yesterday, and Chris is already on, on his very first cast. Early morning, throwing the popper. Big old chomper blue. I missed my shot yesterday. I had one big one in the afternoon and the hook pulled right in the surf. Where you at blues? You hooked on pretty close. Yeah! <laughs> that is a big South Florida bluefish. That's what we That's a New York for. size. Woo! How far, Chris? Right in the trough. Man. Really? Are we keeping this? Yeah. <laughs> that was insane dude full came out of the water for it yes these ones actually pulled drag oh my gosh you guys this is a treat for us because in south florida we don't get bluefish like this very often and they don't always make it down here it happens every few years and it's just sick Looks like we got the beach right here to ourselves. <laughs> yes. There we go, right in the trough. Oh my god. Big old chomper blues! My biggest bluefish to date, and this is one fish you do not want to put your fingers in. No way. All right, Bubba. And that's why I like to fish these uh, inline singles. I took the trebs off of this plug. Makes for easy hook removal, just like that. And your hookup ratio is generally better too. See, I wonder if they're like, if they're coming in and out or they're riding the trough up and down the beach. Cause doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason. Chris was just pointing out, so on the south, on the jetty over there, where we were, catching all small ones. And on the beach, you don't get as many hits, but the ones you do get over here are substantially bigger. And I'd much rather qual qual quality over quantity. Yeah! Chris is on. Chris just hooked up. Come on, double up, double up. Oh, there's dolphins right there. That might be uh, why these bluefish moved on out. The bite has slowed down. Chris got two, I got that one. Chris and I rolled up to the beach. Popper game is on. But he had one hit. And uh, we see him, they're here. I see the school, I see the school. The school's coming in, it's coming in. I see the school, they're way out. They're right there, they're coming in. They're way out on that wave. I just saw the school. Oh, I'm in him, I'm in him, I'm in him. Yep. Yes, we got him. I saw the school, cast it right into him. There we go. On the papa. On the papa. This is what we should have been doing yesterday. You guys, this is so much fun. You cannot put a price tag on this. Bluefish on poppers off the beach. It doesn't get better than this. There was literally just a giant wave of just probably a hundred fish out there. And I saw him and I, it's just a matter of finding the school, that's it. You know you got a real one, they actually pull a drag on the stall. Come on, baby. Woo Alright, coming in with this wave. Yeah. 
big old bluefish. Oh, and it came off right there. Sick. I love these things. Check that out, guys. I'm telling you guys, for us, this is a real treat. We don't get bluefish this big normally down in South Florida. So when they come up by, everybody freaks out. Because these are just some of the most aggressive, just aggressive fish you can get. And uh, they're eating poppers on top, on the beach. Yeah. I got hit too, but I pulled up. I, I got hit, hooked up, pulled hook, and then rehooked. To the left, right? Oh, 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 they're real close. They pushed back. Yeah, they were in here, but they pushed back out. They've been cruising far, man. There's some giants out there. Are you just in your shadows or like you're... There they are. They're still in close. <laughs> Come on! It's a battle with the surf. <laughs> Giants. I'm just gonna leave this one on the rod, grab the other rod, try to catch one on the 4,000. Hooks out. Huh? Yeah, in my pocket. Here. Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll try to... Here, you know what? Just, I don't need them. Are you sure? Here, just bring them back to me. That's yeah, it. Yeah, get them. Wow, guys, that was insane. You will literally have to run for your life because that school comes in, and as soon as they come in, they are gone. Go down, honey. Go down, honey. You got him. Hit him. Come on. Yes! Number three! If I get to compare this to anything, it's kind of like the mall run. Just insane, balls to the wall, in the surf action. Vexen's getting a workout today. So is that Van Stall, boys. Right there it came off. That is a real one. That dude, that's like a 17, 18 pounder. Look at that dude. It's a freaking Mogan, Chris. <laughs> the beach we're fishing, guys. It's really, really shallow over there, and then it gets really deep right here. And I think they funnel in from the inlet and that outgoing tide and they get sucked in here, and that's what they do. Because it's just very consistent at this stretch of the beach for some reason. And I'm thinking it's because it's deep, it holds bait. Oh, right there. All right, guys, we just ended an epic day on the beach. Bluefish Blitz 2018. Honestly, the biggest bluefish I've ever seen in South Florida. How big was that thing? 37 inches. Freaking monster. That's that's just, this thing was like 17, 18 pounds. I've never seen one that big, and it was a blast. Let me show you guys exactly what we threw and kind of what we were working with. Chris and I both have uh, nine-foot rods, and we're throwing them on these, these reels, these van stalls. And um, a lot of people say, why are you throwing such a big reel? It'd be a lot more fun to catch them on a 4,000, 5,000 size reel and they wouldn't spool you. But the problem is, as you guys see, especially on the beach, when you're casting way out there, you need a stiff rod. You need a rod that can get a big plug out there because you need to cast heavy stuff to get, to break through the wind, to get out there and to actually make a lot of noise and make commotion because otherwise they won't notice your bait. But it was honestly one of the most fun trips I've had. One of my best Sebastian trips even though they're bluefish, it's just seeing them come up top and crush up top water, nothing beats it. And they're not picky. They'll eat anything like this. This is a, a Zara Spook. And then Chris is throwing these poppers. Um, I have these two. These are talking poppers, the tsunami talking poppers. And then this one is also a tsunami popper, but this is a different kind. This is a uh, bottle style popper, throws a lot of water. I like to take those 
treads off and put those single hooks on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in that next video. Do you feel the